Coming up, it's a sound that sends chills down your spine. You got snakes right there. Rattlesnakes are out in full force once again this summer. We'll tell you how to avoid that unwanted encounter. Plus, tips to keep you and your family safe during extreme heat, and a powerful reminder that could save a life. It's all coming up on this edition of Inside Look. Hi, I'm Brian May. Now that summer is here and school is out, it is time for us to get out. Many of us in California will be hitting our local parks, we'll be hitting the rivers, the campgrounds, but we're not the only ones getting out this time of year. In California, rattlesnakes bite around 800 people a year, and this year, the numbers are already up 20%. So what can you do to avoid that? Here's Rob Mayberry. I don't know about you, Brian, but just the thought of snakes gives me the willies. However, with the temperatures in California getting warmer and more people heading to the outdoors, the possibility of running into one of these intimidating creatures increases. Whether it be a hike on your favorite trail, camping under the stars, or a swim in the lake on a hot summer day, nothing awakens the senses more than connecting with nature. But you may not be the only one enjoying the warm weather. They're out in the open. They'll be basking in the sun if they're too cold. Um, they'll be on top of the rock. And a lot of park visitors, they don't expect to see a rattlesnake just basking in the sun. Um, getting the heat from the rock. Over 300 rattlesnake bites are reported to the California Poison Control System annually. Most bites occur in spring, summer, and early fall when snakes and humans are most active outdoors. Usually the bites that we get are through accidental where they step on them or um, they sit down near a rock that they haven't really checked out for. Um, for snakes or other um, wildlife that we have in, in the park. So they'll sit down and they'll place their hands on an actual snake that's camouflaged. Um, that's when they'll bite. And if you thought snakes didn't like water, well, you're wrong. They are actually very good swimmers and it is possible to see one swimming next to you. Usually they stay away from high activity, the splashing, uh, and, and beach settings as opposed to if you go into the water where there are boulders or the wood piles. So what's the best advice when hiking and if you come up on a snake? The first tip is when you do go walking on a trail, please bring a friend or a buddy. When you are walking along the trail, be alert of anything that is around. And when you come upon a snake, stay back keep your distance at least six at least six feet those are some great tips from ranger lonnie but what if you run into a snake in your garage or maybe your backyard garden well we caught up with a rattlesnake wrangler for some more advice it's very important that during the hot hot summer months particularly in california uh, that we close our sliding glass doors in our garages especially if you live up to wild areas because the snakes will actually look at the garage or the open sliding glass door and see it as a beacon of life, giving coolness. You know, a common way to bump into snakes is rolling rocks. It is very important to take precautions around our homes and property. If you come across a snake in your yard, don't panic, but proceed with caution. There's four snakes right there. It may be necessary to call a professional, but if you determine to handle it yourself, there is one tool you should use besides a shovel. The best tool, I think, is the hose, the garden hose. Especially if you have a, um, a gun on the end of the hose, you can crank it up to a nice high pressure and you can spray the snake from a distance. And remember, snakes like water, so keep an eye on those pools and ponds. Snakes will occasionally take a drink out of a pool, as well as other animals. They primarily um, live off of rodents, but they will eat lizards and birds as well. And rodents need a lot more water than other animals. So rodents will be attracted to gardens, irrigation, pools, ponds, stuff like that, and that will also bring the snakes in. And what does Lou do with these critters once he finds them? We usually either release them on private property where we have permission from the owner, or we take them out to BLM land um, and dump them off there, making, making sure that it's far, far away from any residential areas. Well, there you have it. By taking a few precautions and respecting these invaluable reptiles, you'll have a fun and safe summer when venturing outdoors. 
Back to you, Brian. All right, thanks, Rob. Of course, rattlesnakes aren't the only danger that we face this time of year. The biggest danger for all of us is just the heat. During this time of year, in the heat of the day, if I point this heat sensor on the ground, this field is registering 147 degrees. That's dangerous in a very short period of time. So here are some tips that can keep you and your family safe during these hot summer months. If you are under an extreme heat warning, find air conditioning, anything that can cool you off for a while. Avoid strenuous activities, especially in the hottest times of the day. Watch for heat illness. The signs can come on quick. Wear light, loose fitting clothing if possible. Check on any family members and neighbors who may be more susceptible to the heat and make sure that they have proper air conditioning and fluids. Speaking of, drink plenty of fluids, water if you can, try to avoid sodas and alcohol. Watch for heat cramps, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke, and never, ever leave people or pets in a closed car, even just for a few minutes. During these hot summer months, a lot of us like to cool off just by jumping into the family swimming pool. But this past week, we saw a painful reminder of how dangerous those swimming pools can be. U.S. Olympic gold medal skier Bodie Miller's 19-month-old daughter drowned after falling in a swimming pool in Orange County this past Saturday. We at Cal OES partnered with the Sacramento Metropolitan Fire Department to bring you this powerful but important reminder to stay safe around the swimming pool. It's how we'll end our show this week. Thanks for watching. It happened so fast. I didn't hear a thing. I saw him face down, just floating there. Every year in the state of California, more than 50 children drown in backyard pools and spas. That's two kindergarten classrooms every year. Started doing CPR. And look at him now. Pay attention. Be cautious of where your children are. Listen. Visit our online newsroom at oesnews.com to learn more about this program and get the latest news and information from our team. Don't miss our next video on your Facebook timeline. Like our page and you'll get the latest posts as they happen. If you're an Instagram user, you can see the latest snapshots by following our Cal OES Instagram account. And Twitter users can get instant access to our tweets from across the state by following Cal OES.